little while. I'm so glad you came over to visit today. I wasn't sure wasn't sure if you're gonna get a chance to visit. It is so beautiful outside. I would totally understand if you were out with your family today. We got the AC running. I'm um, staying hydrated with Stanley. I have his his Snoopy mug hug, but today is the first, so I'm gonna need to change that up. I do have something. Water, water, water. The last time you came to visit, I was showing you a, um, a treasure trove of things that I picked up from the flea market. In there was a pair of knitted slippers. Look! <laughs> I finished them. I, I can't take too much credit for it. I, so they were flat, knitted flat. I sewed the end and I left this little bit of tail just to make sure that when I stitched it, if I needed to go a little further, I could accommodate that. And I stitched the back. Very, very simple slipper design. Simple slipper design. I found so many tutorials on YouTube on how to knit slippers. There's the bottom. It's got a nice little foot panel on there. Um, I think I can do it. I think I can knit slippers. And here's the other, did the same way. Um, garter stitch, and then I see some knit pearls. I fit and look, it matches my top today. <laughs> total coincidence, total coincidence. I will tag the pattern that I used in the description box below. If you'd like to try your hand at making some very simple slippers that would be amazing Christmas gifts or gifts to tuck away and maybe someone comes to visit and you're like, oh, your toes are cold, put these on. Or a birthday or something that comes up. It's nice to have little universal. These will stretch to any size and without stretching them. Also seen quite a few YouTube tutorials on making the slippers um, non-slippery with the little grips where you can use um, hot glue gun or the t-shirt puffy paint. It's always a fun thing to do. This is my pile of things to talk about. Uh, I went over to Hobby Lobby last week, the week before. I went when it was not 30% off and I was just scoping. I was just looking to see if they had any ra raffia, raffia for that porn purse that I'm still messing with. But I have an update for you. So when I got there, I always look at the crochet thread. I love that stuff. And they have the, the mandala string that's been out. It was $6.49 and I wasn't gonna splurge. I haven't seen it go on sale, but when I was peeking over there, I saw an orange tag smiling at me, $1.62. What happened, I think, was that they tried to center pull and a huge blob of it fell out and maybe the person just put it back on the shelf. Maybe it left the store, went home with someone and came back. Either way, I'm gonna throw this on my ball winder and I'm gonna experiment with some mandala string. I'm gonna make maybe like a little summer purse or something fun. I will stick it in the basket of things to give to people for birthdays. I could put like a little something inside, a little gift card inside of it. And last week, I know, so we haven't visited in so long. So I went to a Japanese dollar store that we have here in the Bay Area. It's called Daiso, D-A-I-S-O. So I think it's called Daiso Japan. Everything in the store is about $1.75. They have some end ups, but in their gardening section, I found flexible aluminum wire. That is also where I got the, um, the wire coated in the plastic that I use for the amigurumi for the arms and the legs. But this is aluminum wire. It's pretty thin. It says 
three millimeter in diameter. I'm gonna use this for the brim of a Bag of Day summer hat. Um, sorry, I dropped the thread. What yarn weight is? It's a one, super fun. See, I'm already finding a good use. I'm gonna have that and then that those last, I think it's the last row, you single crochet over, she says some, some wire. Broom of a hat, it's aluminum, it's super flexible. Um, if it gets accidentally bent the wrong way in a summer bag or something, then I can, I can bring it all back together, no problem. They also had at Daiso these little tiny key ring key jumpers. And I thought if I make some tiny little plushy amigurumi, I could put the little key ring jumpers and put them in the little free library. I think it'd be adorable. And there's so many colors. I could pick one that, um, that matches the little character that I put out there. So pick that up. And hold on, it's behind you. They had these little organizer baskets with little hooks on them, which slips on the side of my craft cart that you perch on when we visit. It's just the perfect little diameter just to fit over the rim of it. Super fun, super organized, the chaos, right? And the other thing that I have in this pile to talk to you about today is my fair entry tickets. Yes, so not this weekend. Last Saturday, my husband and I drove over to the next county over and I entered seven makes into the county fair. Oh, I could barely sleep the night before. I was a ball of nerves. I thought, oh, we have to get there so early in case there's a line around the block. We're gonna have to stand there and there's gonna be all these crocheters and knitters and they're all gonna be trying to get in there and submit their fair entries. We have to get there early. We woke up early, we got our coffee early, we got dressed, we got out of the house, we drove all the way over there, there was no traffic, should have been a queue, clue, and there was no traffic getting off the freeway, leading up to the fairgrounds, deserted. We parked in front of the building, nobody around. We walked in, everyone was happy and jolly and oh, hi, so good to see you. Oh, you brought your entries, how wonderful. A bunch of volunteers all standing around, all excited and happy to be a part of the fair process. Um, I took my, I got my receipt off the phone, showed them that I had seven, the categories. I turned in my items. It was an awesome experience. Every there, everybody there was just happy, pleasant, eager to help. And they gave me um, these little tags that say my name on them, the entry numbers, and I entered seven of them. And I think that's pretty lucky because my numbers are, let's see, 197 up to two, Wait, was it 197 up to 201 so that's gotta be pretty lucky set of numbers they're not lottery numbers but you know so I'm gonna hold on to that because I need that at the end of July to pick up my entries and bring them home so the fair opens June 14th is the first day there's drone shows every night there's a free movie every night where families can go and sit in the bleachers or bring lawn chairs or blankets and sit and enjoy a family night with this gorgeous weather we've been having. Um, there's also concerts. You can purchase concert tickets. Um, a lot of tribute bands. Uh, what else do they have going on? They have the horse races. There's a track there. And they have, oh, the dirt bikes. Oh man, they set up this huge round arena, dirt track. Yeah, it's a dirt track. And man, all those professional dirt bike riders are out there and then they get the BMX bikes out there. It's a lot of fun to watch. And of course we have lots of 4-H kids showing their animals out there. So for my fair entries, 
they said that they were judging them. That was last weekend. They were judging them last week. They do not post online. So the only way I'm going to see how my items did is to go to the fair and look for my items. <laughs> I want to go on the first day, but the fair opens on a Friday. We work. Who's going to go over to the fair Friday morning and be the first person in? <laughs> I want to go to the fair by myself. Leave my family. I don't know what they're doing in my imagination, but leave them. Go get some coffee. Drive over to the fair and check my fair entries. <laughs> nope. Turn it off. Turn. Uh, we don't want to listen to that. Okay. Do you want to say hi? We have two bathrooms in this house. One of them is always busy. The other one's mine. <laughs> so we have the um, the fair injuries. I, I wanna wait. I want my family to go with me. I think I wanna go to the fair, go in the, the afternoon after the heat dies off a little bit and maybe go watch a movie, maybe go to a concert. They, and then they have the whole carnival section with the fair foods and the rides and all that fun stuff. And then the rides are always more fun at night, right? When they turn all the lights on, the neon lights of the fair and check my ribbons. Now, even if it's just, I think uh, participation's purple, it's a beautiful ribbon. This adventure was about making something in the criteria entering it and becoming a part of yet another community. That's what this is from. This is a learning experience and I will not be disappointed with any acknowledgement that I get. Oh, I want the blue first place. At least one of them. We'll put it right here. We'll line them up. <laughs> it's okay. We'll see. I'm just really excited. Really excited. And of course, I invite you to go with me. Um, I think it would be fun. Maybe take a little clip if, if you want to hear the the carnival sounds and the, the fair ahs and oohs at the fair. I'll take a little video and be sure to share it with you. Um, yeah, I think that would be a really good time. Well, I have a few more things to share with you. But I've also noticed that it's important that I keep my videos somewhat on the shorter side. Um, I think that sometimes I make them way too long and then it takes up too big of a chunk of a day for you guys. So maybe we should keep our visits a little shorter and more quality visits, right? Well, what are you working on? What are you doing? It's not all about me. It's give and take. I want to know what you guys are, what's in your lap, what's in your hands. How is your day going? Do you have a county fair? Have you ever entered any items into your county fair? What was your experience like? I would love to hear all about it. Please leave me a really, really long comment down below so that I can read it and ask you a million more questions. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting with me. And I hope to see you again really, really soon. Bye. Take care.